Now to WA's water woes. Good, clean drinking water is something we all take for granted, but in our state's southwest, there's uproar over what's running from their taps. Some families in one of our most popular holiday spots claim their tap water is making them sick. Natalie Bonjola reports from the town that's being torn apart by the ongoing dispute. My kids shouldn't have to be suffering like they are. Apart from the water smelling awful, tasting dreadful, they're getting sick. So do you drink this water? No, I drink it. That's our charter, to supply safe drinking water, and we do that. A jewel in the southwest, Busselton is renowned for its natural beauty and one of the most precious resources in the world. Visitors came and, you know, said how fantastic our water was and people, you know, joyfully said, yes, we've got the best water, arguably, in the world. While most of us drink scheme water supplied by the state's water corp, here in Busselton, they tap directly into a massive ancient aquifer hundreds of metres below the ground. It's called the Yarragadee and it's one of the purest, highest quality water sources in the whole country, which until recently was almost completely chemical free. Our water was perfect. People used to come from everywhere and take our water back with them. Now this popular tourist town is up in arms, claiming their water has been spoilt. So this is where the chlorine gets added to the water? Yes, this is one of the plants. The plant Locals, like Diana Michaels, believe a controversial decision to put chlorine in their previously pure water has been catastrophic. People aren't drinking it. My five-year-old got up and wanted a drink of water and tasted it and turned around and said, Mum, I'm not drinking that, it's yuck. Mum of five, Hayley Tucker, says it's left more than just a bad taste in her children's mouths. A few days later, the kids started to come out in rashes and they were itchy and up all night crying because they were scratching. This photo shows little Josh's face covered in blisters. It was really bad. It looked like a chemical burn. It was bright red and he would scratch that much, it'd bleed. Within days of drinking the water, Hayley says her other children also got sick. They got stomach um, pains, they've got um, diarrhoea, um, a couple of them had had vomiting. Um, it was a nightmare. Restaurant owner Gemma Healy is worried about serving discoloured water to her customers. I check every bottle before I, I put it out now because I just don't want to risk it going out on a table looking yellow. Families have been told the colour is caused by the chlorine flushing out the pipes. They're telling us it's going to settle down, but you know, we're still, in the meantime, supposed to drink this. When the bath she ran for her kids looked like this, Gemma installed heavy-duty filters at her house. But this is two weeks. Wow, look at that. If we didn't have this on, this is what we'd be showering in and drinking and brushing our teeth with, so... Is that a worry to you? It is, especially when you've got kids and that. Those who can't afford filters are using bottled water. So this is what you have to do every day, get the bottled water, heat it up, pour it in the bath to bath your kids. Yeah. The water is, uh, as I said, safe drinking water. Busselton Water's CEO, Keith White, says without chlorine, the water was at risk of contamination. The last thing as a supplier of safe drinking water that we want to be doing is reacting after a tragedy. We'd rather be proactive and ensure that our water is totally safe. Busselton's water contains a tiny organism called Neglaria. While it's completely harmless to people, there is another strain called Neglaria fowleri, which can cause the deadly amoebic meningitis. This bad amoeba isn't actually in Busselton's water, but the board fear it could infiltrate the system. The possibility or the risk factor is quite great if you've got the one that you can, there's a correlation, you can have the other. It's not in there. Um, there's no evidence of it. Nobody has ever had any, any illness at all. The water used to be cleaned by ultraviolet rays, but authorities say it wouldn't protect against the bad amoeba if it did get into the pipes. Look, that threat to some degree possibly existed that whole time, but what's changed of late and it's with, is the rapid increase in the development in this part of the world. 
The WA Health Department tell us they support chlorine going into Bustleton's water. The rest of us have been drinking it for a hundred years. And safe levels shouldn't cause any health problems. If that's the case, families down south want answers. An explanation as to why they're feeling unwell. So how many people do you think we're going to have at this rally? We had 500 at the last one. The community backlash has been deafening. Thousands have signed petitions and made hundreds of formal complaints. The message in a bottle is to just symbolise that we are sick and tired of being dictated to. Campaigners like Corinne Davies are now using their empty water bottles to send a message. A lot of people's uh, recycling bins are overfilling because of the amount of, of bottled water that they have to buy. It's bound to be a long, hard battle, with many refusing to give up the fight until they can once again boast about their water. It would be lovely to, to maintain that uh, reputation, if you like, but I couldn't see a board doing that at the expense of public safety. They categorically state the water is safe. We categorically state that that is rubbish. And it's the people that, that, that come from Perth that are really going to know the difference when they come down this summer. Bustleton CEO Keith White resigned late last week. Campaigners are planning a series of rallies over the next couple of months.